Hello, my name is Vanessa Joanne and we're here with V Wellness Studio. I'm a psychic medium and a spiritual teacher. In today's video, I'm taking you through a pick a card reading for this week ahead. So what I'd like you to do is just close your eyes and really feel into which card you feel on the screen right now. You've got four piles, so really take a moment, pause the video if you need and really feel into the number or even the card that you're drawn to the most. Once you've found out your number, just click on the time sense below and it will guide you to your reading today. So without further ado, we're going to get straight into it. Hello, pile number one. Thank you so much for joining me today. And we're going to give you a reading for this week. All right. So two cards we've came out as the main message is the queen of wands and the nine of pentacles. I feel like this week they're saying to really just take a deep breath, okay? Really look at what is kind of working out for you at the moment. I really feel like this week is about finding happiness, finding joy, and finding hobbies and just things that you enjoy this week. Maybe you've gone through a bit of a some emotions lately. There might have been a bit of anxiety. Maybe you've been feeling a little bit triggered. This week feels like you just need to really see the gratitude. You need to see what's going on that's kind of working out for you. You might feel like you have slightly a negative mindset around situations when they pop up for you. So for example, you may feel like, you know, something quote unquote bad happens and we go, oh yeah, this is bad. This always happens to me. And this is kind of makes me feel like, you know, some of the negative thoughts have kind of gotten the way for you. They've kind of shifted your vibration in a way. And you are innately, we're all innately just not negative thinkers, right? We're all positive thinkers. We're all here to, you know, be in alignment with who we want to be. And this week, I feel like you are being reminded to really focus on things that make you feel good. You know, you might have some cool little projects that you might have up your sleeve that you really want to dive into. I feel like it's looking at what is working. Um, and this is where I think some of us get really caught up with. We think, oh, what's not working? Oh yeah, that's not working. And I feel like spirit saying, you need to look at what is working. Look at the bad, quote unquote, bad situations as an opportunity for growth, as an opportunity to, to focus on a positive mindset. And that's definitely something that I feel is a really, really big message for you guys is this week to have popped out. Oh, both upside down though. Okay. We've got the Empress and the Eight of Swords as the next two messages. And they are both in reversed. Okay. This sort of says that we may not be seeing, we may feel like we're so trapped in our lack of inspiration, our lack of creativity, maybe our lack of positive thinking. And this is where I feel spirit is saying you need to redirect your thoughts in a positive way. You need to see that things are working out for you, that you aren't trapped into this, you know, our natural state of neg negative thoughts and that the spark that you have around your creativity isn't because you're just not creative. Okay. This feels like a new, a redirection to a new situation. This feels like the way your thoughts are is what's going to map out your feeling, your vibration, and what's going to allow you to, in once again, enjoy life as well. I do feel like this is a time to, I'm seeing kitchen right now. So maybe this is a time to go in and, you know, start finding some enjoyments that's going to make you feel a little bit more ba balanced in a way. You know, maybe baking is your thing. Maybe you enjoy, you know, just the enjoyment of, of creating a meal. You know, I sort of feel like what's coming through the most around this is that when you have a recipe, right, um, you've got to go through step by step but getting to the end result. And I feel like maybe you do have some goals that you want to achieve right now, but there feels like a lack of motivation or lack of inspiration that's wanting you go to get there. And you feel like, oh, doomsday, like, oh, how am I going to make this work? But what they're saying is that they redirect me back to the kitchen, right? When you make up that recipe, you take step by step to get to the end result. And I feel like that's what you need to do this week. You need to really redirect your thoughts and come from it from a different place, okay? Create that recipe and take step by step to get to the end result that you want to achieve. There definitely feels like I keep seeing car right now. And I feel like maybe some of you guys want to buy a car or something. There feels like some sort of goal that is testing you right now as well you know it's maybe felt made you feel a bit triggered and a bit overwhelmed but I feel like they're just saying 
that you really need to let go of these negative thoughts, all right, and let go of these negative situations. It keeps coming to my mind situations as well. So it might not necessarily be your thought base. It might be what's going on around you as well. And I feel like they're saying, come back to peace, come back to what fills your cup up. And that feels like a hobby. You know, I'm seeing golfing for some, whether that is literally golfing for you. Otherwise, it might be just other little enjoyments, okay? Getting out in nature. Maybe it is about riding. Maybe it is about riding your horse. I'm getting it for some. Or maybe it's just exercising as a simple base as well. And even reading, I'm hearing. It doesn't really matter what the situation is, right? It matters what the message is here. And I feel like the message is here is to focus on being positive in some way. Now, I know positivity is can be a little bit toxic in our new age, um, and you know, yeah, new age at the moment. And I feel like there's a certain way to be real. Okay. We can't control what's going to happen outside of us, you know, with things that happen that might be hard. Okay. But I feel like our thoughts can kind of determine how we, re- how we relate to that situation. So I just feel like there is a redirection here. Okay. Life isn't perfect. There's going to be bad shit that's going on. But the more that we can really keep our state in a good vibration for ourselves, and to be real as well, of course, and be realistic about the situation. But there definitely feels like there's something that is going to give you a lot of power when you're able to really get control of your vibration and your thoughts. And we've got the eight of one, eight of pentacles here. Okay, this is saying to really work hard. Okay, maybe you need to really work hard on this. On this. Okay, this is not something that just happens once a week. That I'm like, yeah, be positive this week, and you're just gonna get it. This might take a bit of work. Okay, this might take a bit of bit of work that needs to happen around this. Okay, but I really feel like this will change a lot in your life. I'm seeing windfall right now. And that really tells me like abundance energy. Okay, there's a lot of things that are going to flow and even seeing a waterfall as well with that. You know, there just feels like there might be so much that will come to in unexpected ways when we can really change our mindset. Okay. And that's going to make us feel more inspired. It's going to make us feel less in our ego and less in the worry and doubt and more in a vibration of just goodness, of calm, of appreciation, of gratitude. Okay. This is going to take work though. So this is where you don't just once again, do it in a week. This might actually be something you need to work on. Okay. Redirect your thoughts. Every time you have a negative thought, you redirect it with a positive thought. Okay. And the more you do that, even if in the moment it doesn't feel positive, it will help to rewire yourself. Okay. It will help make you feel like you're in a better state of mind. All right. This is what I feel for you guys. It's getting into a better state of mind. Okay. Because I think the negative thoughts have taken over way too much. Lately. And has it helped you? No. So let's try and be positive here and then see how being more positive can somewhat be better, even when things are really tough. I kind of feel like, you know, sometimes we haven't even hit the worst of our life because we're going to go through stuff, right? But our mindset is what's going to get us through. It's going to make us feel mentally sound and mentally, um, it's kind of like well being for the mind, okay? The mind, if it keeps getting, um, directed with thoughts all the time and everything's about thoughts and thoughts and thoughts it's going to always feel like everything's bad okay but the more that you focus on these this positive mindset or even just a better mindset that you're getting right now it's going to help so much more when things are actually going to be really shit okay life is going to be good and bad i'm not here to say life is amazing i'm so realistic it's ridiculous okay um i'm realistic around that okay and i never want my teachings to come across a little woohoo like extremely woohoo where everything's all great and that like i know firsthand that life is going to be this way okay we're going to have great times we're going to have bad times it's going to be up and down but the way we react to our outside stresses and our outside world will deflect, will really determine the level of thoughts we have within ourselves. So really work on this this week. Let this be a really good way for you to really overcome some of those barriers that you have within your mind, um, because that's what's going to just make you feel a lot better in your life as well. So let's do a final card for you guys. Oh, there's two. 
oh, the Tempress always comes out for you guys, for everyone. It's crazy. Um, I felt like that was actually not reversed. So we've got the eight of cups and the three of wands here. So I just feel like this is a real direction, okay? They're both actually walking, if you can see. They're both walking away, all right? This really tells me that this is this is kind of a, a redirection, as I keep saying, because I really feel to say that. This is about moving to a new direction of, of thought that's going to impact your life in a big way, okay? This is about learning how to ab sort of deal with our negative thoughts. That's what's coming through here. So I feel like the three of wands is saying to really look at your thoughts in a different way, okay? I feel like they're saying learn to really observe and witness your thoughts and really see them not to be you, all right? Because your thoughts are not going to be you at the end of the day, especially your first thought is never you. It's always your conditioned thought. And I feel like they're saying to really look at your thoughts in a different way, okay? Be the witness here. To take a step back and see, okay, what do I actually generally what is this thought, for example? It's like challenging your thoughts in a way and taking yourself out of the equation. I also see the Eight of Cups as a way of letting go, okay? You know what you're here for. You've got the cups all in front of you and that is all the potential that you want, okay? But you want to see your thoughts walking away from you. You don't want to see it be part of you because it's not part of you. So I feel like you need to separate yourself from the thoughts that you're having and those kind of the energy that those thoughts have on you as well. I feel like there, yeah, there needs to be a breakup here. I'm hearing, okay, with your thoughts and you need to sit down with your thoughts and go, I break up with you, okay? We're not together anymore. OK, and I'm going to start redirecting you to a new thought. Um, another thing I really like to do um, and I do teach as well is is calling thoughts different names. And that will be a good way of separating as well. But, yeah, I do feel like this is a very thought based week for you. And yes, a lot of um, a lot will change when you start doing this as well. The bottom of the deck is Tempress, all right? This feels like a dabbling into what's going to work, okay? What I've just said might not work for your situation, all right? You might think, actually, I don't really resonate with sitting there talking to my thoughts, okay? I don't resonate with that. Another way I do it as well, you can write to your thoughts and say, hey, what's your name? Or hey, what are you trying to help me with? I feel like this is a way of seeing what's going to work with you separating you from your thoughts, um, your negative thoughts particularly. I know we have like 60,000 thoughts a day. It's insane, okay? And most of them will most likely be negative in some way, okay? Or just autopilot habitual sort of thing. I feel like because of what's going on recently for you guys, I think the negative thoughts are just getting a little bit too heavy on you. Okay, so you need to find ways that you can really separate that. It might be what I've suggested, or maybe you just find it will be in a different way that works for you. You might find that you want to meditate on it and see what comes up. Regardless, it's shifting the mindset in a positive way, and it's going to help you in so many different ways as well, more than you know. But this is a first stepping stone to this new way of being and this new way of thinking. So if this has supported you, I would love if you like and subscribe. I do do personalized psychic readings. If you want to book in for that, that'd be awesome. Other than that, I do have different courses at the moment that I'm offering that are really, really affordable. You can purchase that as well. But thank you so much and I will see you all next week. Hello, pile number two. Thanks for joining me today. Today, we've got a message for you this week. So let's get started. All right. We've got the Knight of Swords for your first card here. I feel like this is, I keep hearing um, courses. Okay. So maybe you're really thinking about pursuing a certain course or something about courses because that's what's coming through. I feel like this is, um, this universe is really telling you to move fast here. Okay. Maybe you've been, well, I'm hearing end of financial year. So maybe there's a course that you're thinking about doing, but you don't really know what you don't, you're thinking, oh, I'll just wait. Um, sort of thing. That's what's coming through to me. I feel like this is sort of saying you need to really hurry up and purchase this course. Okay. Purchase this course, purchase this, this X, Y, and Z, whatever's coming to you in your personal life. You need to purchase it from what I'm hearing. This is going to, I'm hearing course of action as well. So this is going to cause a lot of 
positive action for you for your future. I am hearing yoga teacher for some six of sorts. I feel like you're at a transformational a transitional point in your life, okay? You're here to go from point A to point B. And I feel like for you, you're really wanting to invest in yourself. You're really wanting to kind of take that leap, take that step. But there's something holding you back. This might be if you're a mother, there might be children involved. Or maybe it could be a money thing as well. But I feel like they're saying, let go of these stresses and go after what your heart is saying, okay? I was saying yoga teacher training or like some sort of course that's going to motivate you. I'm hearing like self-love as well. There's some sort of course that you're wanting right now and you're holding back on it because you're like, oh, I don't really know or I'm a bit nervous. But I feel like this is the time, guys, okay? You need to take this leap so then you can get to this next stage for yourself. You are here to have, elevate people. You're here to empower women, I'm hearing as well. So I feel like this is a good stepping stone that you need to take, okay? You need to take the leap. You need to take the steps that you need to take to get to that next level. But it really does feel like you need to make this quick investment, okay? This feels like a very fast energy. With that Knight of Swords, he's going bloody very, very fast and he's taking action too. And that's what I was feeling as well. We've got Six of Swords as well, which is once again, action. So I feel like you've meditated on this. You've seen whether what you should do. Maybe you've read into it as well because I'm seeing glasses right now. You've maybe looked into it. You keep going back to it thinking, should I do it or should I not? And Spirit is saying, do it, okay? This is for your, your future, okay? This is for the next stage for you. And you are ready for this, okay? Don't worry about money, I'm hearing. That's what's coming through. All right, so the next ones, we've got the five of wands and the two of pentacles. And that was reversed as well, okay? I feel like there's some internal battles you're going through right now, okay? You're wondering, should I do it or should I not? There feels like an indecisive energy around this, okay? But what I feel is that you need to ride the wave with how you feel. I never think you should make a purchase based on being triggered, okay? That's just the truth. But I do feel like you need to really feel into what is, what sort of, because it feels like a choice here that you're wanting to make, all right? Maybe... And what's coming through, sorry, is that it feels like a safety choice and an actual action-based choice of like what you need to do. Now, sometimes we're not going to feel very comfortable when we make these big choices, all right? And that's going to activate that inner battle, okay? That's going to tell us, no, we shouldn't do it. No, and I don't think I should do it. It's like you've got four different voices in your head saying, you should, you shouldn't, you should, you shouldn't. And I feel like Spirit is saying, feel it out a little bit, all right? Look at the options that you could take, but also be real, on what is your truth, okay? Because you always want to take steps based on your truth. Get out of your comfort zone right now. Take that uncomfortable step you need to take to get yourself on the path of where you want to go, all right? You're in this wellness era I'm hearing, okay? you're Maybe you're already into beauty. I'm sensing beauty right now. I'm sensing hairdressing for some. So maybe you're already sort of doing that, Um and you want to make a full pivotal point or maybe you want to incorporate both. That's what I'm feeling as well. It's like maybe you're wanting to figure out how you can incorporate your spirituality and maybe your more like stable job into one. I feel like regardless, it feels like there is a lot of thought going on and you just need to take action right now, okay? You fell into it. You know what you want to do. Maybe you do need to feel it out a little bit longer and see, you know, how things go a little bit, but there also feels like an urgency, you know, whether this, I keep hearing end of financial year. So, you know, whether that is because the course is not as cheap, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's about um, taking action straight away. Okay. Making the best, best steps that you can for yourself as well. But yeah, I definitely feel like a slight overwhelm, um, a slight pressure and maybe a bit frustrated as well of like not really knowing how to go about this. Maybe it's a time factor for you where you're like, I don't actually know if I'm going to have enough time for this. But I feel like Spirit's saying you'll make time if it's important to you. If this is really what you want, you should absolutely do it. Okay. So we have the Knight of Pentacles and Strength as the next two cards, okay? This is what I feel like has needed to... This is kind of like 
what I feel like you need to embody, okay? Strength is sort of saying that you really need to have confidence here, all right? You need to believe in yourself. You need to know that if this is what you want, you should absolutely go for it, all right? I feel like spirit has given you an opportunity for actually doing something with your life that is a bit scary, but also it makes sense. And it also feels like an aha moment with this card as well. Like, this has come to you at the perfect time. So take action and get, just get on with it. I'm hearing. Okay. Um, but there feels like a level of confidence you need to have within yourself. You need to believe that you are capable to do this. Okay. You need to hold yourself accountable as well around this as well. And really believe that things come to you always at the right time. We always have a choice. Okay. Yes, some choices, we it may not be our time. It might be the right decision for this career now, or it might not be, okay? So you need to know within yourself what that looks like for your life. Based on this reading, though, I'm definitely feeling it is an action-based, like, let's go, time is ticking, that sort of vibe. Maybe it has looped around for you that you were going to do this years ago, and now you're about to do it now. I just saw teaching then, so whether that was the thing. I think regardless, you're here to to really get out of your comfort zone and it feels very scary, okay? Universe has given you an opportunity here, okay? And what you do with that opportunity is going to be totally up to you, okay? So have faith in yourself, believe in yourself, know that you're worthy of this and that this will come to you. This has come to you the right time. We have the seven of pentacles as the bottom of the deck. Okay. So this card is generally all about, it's all about kind of being a little frustrated that things aren't working out the way we wanted it to be. Okay. But I really need you to look at, I feel like this is a life reflection to what I'm getting. Okay. Maybe you're like, you know what? I always thought I was going to be this and now I'm getting activated. I need to do this. And I feel like all that was nothing. Okay. I feel like with this is saying, Things happen to you at the right time, okay? You have certain things that happen in your life at moments that they need need to be, all right? So this has happened to you at this time because you are ready for this new change, all right? You're ready to activate and move forward on this. That doesn't mean the work that you did over the years means nothing. It doesn't mean all the courses you did or the degrees that you purchased and invested in were nothing, okay? This just means that this is the next step for you. Maybe you needed to go through what you needed to in your life so you could get to this moment now of this next, this new change. Regardless, I think it is about honoring yourself, believing in yourself and trusting that this is what was meant to be. All right. This is what was next in line for you. And it always loops around if it's meant for you. So if it's come to you in your mind a few times over the course of your life, it generally is mean you're meant to do it, all right? So I think take this opportunity, do it now. You have to do it this week because end of financial year is what I'm hearing and prices might go up. But I also feel like it is looking at your options, looking at where it's gonna fall into your life and believing in this opportunity, all right? Believing in yourself that this has come to you at the right time. So let's do a quick card over here. So this is just an extra little boost of energy. We are in cancer season now. So I thought, why not do the Healing Waters Oracle? And I'm just going to do a card for you guys as a last message. There we go. Thank you. Yes. Gratitude, appreciating what's sustaining you. All right, so it's called, you probably can't see from here. I feel like this is looking at, like I said, what's coming to me the most is the Knight of Pentacles. It's about appreciating what has come to you, okay? Saying thank you to the universe and going, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity, all right? You can do this. You can make this work, I'm hearing. Let go of all this extra stress and worries. Take the steps you need to take to invest in yourself okay this has come to you for what has what was meant to be it's come to you at the right time and you need to just appreciate it that everything has led you to this moment okay so good luck 
Let me know if this supported you. Please like and subscribe. And if you want to purchase a personalized psychic reading or do my courses, just check out the link below. Thank you. Hello, pile number three. Thanks so much for joining me today. We're going to do a message for this week. So we have the King of Swords for your first card for today and for this week. So this is feeling like you really need to plan, I'm hearing, okay? Sit back and plan of what you need to do, all right? This definitely feels like an execution that you need to take on achieving the goals you want to achieve. I feel like there might be a lack of long-term goals that you haven't set for yourself. You know, maybe you have a business, maybe you just have some sort of career responsibilities and it feels like a lack of preparation for that i feel like there needs to be a lot of planning this week all right getting into the nitty gritties exactly how you want to plan out the rest of your year but there feels like a a lack of discipline here a lack of willpower that you're not implementing into this potential space so let's move into that Yeah, I'm definitely feeling business a little bit here, but I'm also feeling like big responsibilities, kind of hearing like business mentoring I'm hearing. So, okay. Seven of swords for your next one. A lot of swords today. Crazy. So this is sort of saying that I feel like we've been tiptoeing a little bit about how we run this type of environment, this type of thing that you're doing, okay? I feel like there might be some elements that you're not seeing properly. Maybe you've kind of, maybe people have kind of taken something from you as well that you've, that's built a bit of distrust here. I feel like there might be a bit of, this feels like a bit of a wound, I feel, okay? Like a bit of not feeling motivated, not feeling like you want to do these like little nitty gritty stuff and also I'm getting a bit of like a distrust that's happened around your firm or your business or whatever else this feels like it's interfering with your motivation okay it's interfering with the level of planning that you're doing for the rest of the year and it's just even just in general because of this situation that's happened all right this definitely feels like It could be just your own sense of not being organized, but also it can be because maybe someone has taken advantage of your hard work, okay? But we need to start seeing that the Nine of Pentacles really shows us that things happen. She's all about being grateful. She's all about being present. There's not not a worry in the world. And I sort of feel like that's what Spirit's telling you to be, okay? Plan yourself out so then you don't have to worry about these nitty little gritty things, okay? Maybe in the past, from the lack of organization, people were actually taking advantage of your your craft or whatever you're offering or whatever it is that I'm talking about. And yet, when we start to plan and get control and make sure everything's set out properly, we can actually see that things are actually okay and things will become a little bit more smooth sailing. I do feel like this is the energy that you're searching for. You're searching for a bit more of a calmer energy. You're searching for a bit of like a, okay, I just need to breathe. I just want to get this sorted. And it feels like that just that will come once you plan things ahead. It feels like because of the lack of planning, we're just going day by day. We don't really know what we're doing, okay? And it's making the result of that, it's making it harder to really have a foundation where no one can take advantage. No one can be like where you're even yourself, you're tiptoeing about what you should do and what you shouldn't do. But this this sense of planning that I keep being told to do, and I'm hearing career planning, once you start doing that, you're going to feel a lot more better, okay? You're not going to feel worried. You're not going to feel like you don't know why things are happening the way they should be. And you're going to feel a lot more like things are just going to happen It's almost like you're so in control. It's like you're in control of yourself and you can actually surrender to the outcome once you're aware of that. Yeah, I think I keep saying it, but the the lack of planning has caused more stress for you and more anger and frustration about maybe yourself, the universe, maybe your your work environment. Um, It feels, yeah, because of that, not having those goals in place and not actually being masculine with the way we're, we're planning 
it's actually causing more stress than than good okay so that's what I feel like needs to happen for you guys we have the hangman as the next card okay that's really about hanging in there okay really knowing don't give up on this venture that you're doing don't give up on whatever you're doing right now in your venture or your business or your career this is about hanging in there okay and really knowing that yes of course things are going to go up and down but at the same time this is about reminding you of having a bit more of a present energy. So one thing about this as well, and even the Nine of Pentacles, they're all about being present, okay? When you're hanging in there, you've got to, there's no way to go. There's no way you can be thinking about, okay? I feel like it's saying be present with your current now as well, okay? But also think of the long future for yourself, okay? Think of what is that long-term goal that you want and how can you backtrack from that to get to this moment now? This feels like the mindset you need when you do it every day. By being present, by not getting in fear or worry or an anxiety and being able to set yourself up in a masculine container, okay? Because I feel like the masculine energy is lacking with what you've got, with you, whatever you've got right now, okay? But once that container is set in stone and you've got those goals in mind, it's going to make everything else better, okay? You're going to feel a lot more present and you're going to also feel less worried about just little stresses because you're really focused on your goals. I think one thing that I've noticed and I can I can definitely feel into my own self with, you know, masculine energy, feminine, okay? Some people are very much about their feminine energy as well, all right? Very important to be in your creative energy, all right? And be in spirit and be spiritual and relax and blah, blah, blah. But to build some, some, some sort of career for yourself and to plan that out, we need the masculine energy for that, okay? And it just feels like your masculine side has not been stepping forward enough, okay? and it hasn't created the proper container for your audience and for yourself that when things go up and down, which will in business or in career, in just whatever career you're in, it's going to help a lot by having these safety and steady containers to guide, to, to keep the needle going, okay? So that's what I feel like right now needs to happen, a bit more of a balance with your masculine and feminine energy. Um, and this will change the game. The systems that will be created from this is going to change the absolute game. Oh, awesome. So these last two cards was practically what I was saying. So we've got the King of um, Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, which is amazing. Okay. This feels like the level of what this is. Sorry. This feels like what's going to happen. Okay. Once we start doing that, this is really saying that this is about what's going to happen when you start doing this, okay? So your money flow will be a lot better. Your creative energy will be there as well, but also your passions will start to flood and pour out a lot more. I feel like this system is really needed for you, but not only for your business and whatever else this is, it's for your happiness, okay? This is going to make you feel a lot more better about what where you're at right now. And it's going to, once again, feel a lot more grateful, a lot more present with what's going on now as well. So bring in that masculine energy this week and know that when you get that really in alignment, you're going to get the money you want, okay? You're going to get the success you want, but also it's going to allow you to pour your heart in more different things and it's going to make a lot more sense when it's done. So your individual journey will just depend on you, but this feels like what is needing to happen for you to really get a nice container and brand for yourself as well. Um, so yes, yeah, so much gratitude in this that will happen, so much fulfillment and a lot more positive mindset and positive energy. So let's go into uh, another card for you guys. So just this extra card on the healing waters because we're in cancer um, from Rebecca Campbell. Very classic. She's fantastic, isn't she? All right. No way. Same card as the last one. That's crazy. So thank you is the next card. Oh my God, that's so crazy. Exactly the same card. This is gratitude, appreciating what's sustaining you. Okay, once again, this is coming back to 
quite a gratitude, quite appreciation and being present to energy. Appreciate what is going on. Appreciate the lessons you're learning. Um, but also know that what's sustaining you right now really sit in that energy okay what you're wanting to achieve whatever you're wanting to achieve right now be in that gratitude for it and then create the systems that's going to support your creative energy all right so very powerful week this week but hopefully the message supported you if it did, please like and subscribe. Or if you like a personalized psychic reading or even like to purchase my other courses, just check out that links below. So thank you so much. And I'll see you all next week. Thank you so much, pile number four, for joining me today. Today, we're going to do a weekly message for you. So let's get started. All right. Your two main cards today is the world and nine of swords. Okay. Okay. There feels like a limitation you're putting on yourself. This you've you've been putting on yourself. Okay, you have these hopes and dreams and goals that you want to achieve, but yet your mind is telling you you're not deserving of that. This feels like a bit of lack of self belief in yourself. That I feel that you are that's let you kind of it's kind of run the show a little bit here. But it feels like that this is something that will stick with you, okay? Maybe you've found your groove. Maybe you've found your thing that you want to be and want to do particularly. But your mind is really trying to block you and limit to you. So I feel like this is really about overcoming those limited beliefs this week, all right? Overcoming those thoughts that you get around not being good enough. We'll start off there. Okay, so the next two cards is the two of pentacles and three of wands. I feel like you've been a bit up and down with where you need to be. Maybe you feel like I want to do this, I want to do that. And this kind of gives me a feeling of being a little bit indecisive of what's next, okay? Maybe you're trying to make yourself stay small of what of the potential of what you want to be. And maybe there've been some emotions around this as well. You know, maybe you feel like you're very heightening with your emotions. Maybe you feel like one minute you're very certain and the next minute you're not. And there definitely feels like a lot of a lot of it's a lot of thoughts that it's kind of getting in the way of you wanting to achieve what you're wanting to achieve. Okay. Like I said, that self-belief and confidence is coming up to me a lot. You know, I'm hearing Jack in the box right now. And I, do you know those Jack in the box and they go, ah! and that's what I feel like it is for you. One minute you're like really, really trusting of what you want to do. And then next minute you open up that Jack in the box and then he scares you and it comes out. And then what do you know? It makes you feel like you're afraid. And it feels like a fear, you know, that's coming up, okay? A fear that you're not going to succeed. A fear that it's not going to work out. A fear that this is not what you're meant to do, okay? Three of Wands also tells you that this is about observing what's going on, okay? It also is about taking a step back, okay? And looking at what could be, all right? This is about, third, I love the three of, uh, three of Wands because... It's all about witnessing what's going on outside of us. It's not about taking action. It's not about doing the do. It's actually about observing, okay? And this is what I feel like might need to happen for you to really get clear on what you want to do, all right? I feel like what you want, you already know, okay? You already know. Maybe you've got some things in, in line as well that you actually want to do. Like I'm getting you want, you're a caring person. You've got empathy about you. You're extremely intuitive, and yet the mind is playing games, okay? It's coming in, it's confusing you, and it's also making you think that you're not deserving of this, all right? But I feel take a step back and ride the wave of your emotions always and then look at what could be, all right? What could be logistically the situation here, okay? So yeah, I just feel like this is, uh, I keep hearing heightening energy and emotion. So this has probably caused a lot of stress. And maybe this is something that, you know, I'm seeing um, soap and stuff. So like whether you have a soap kind of um, business or some sort of home, like for some of you guys, I'm definitely feeling like bath bombs kind of thing. So definitely feel like there's something you're very creative in that. Like I'm sort of getting like a very home base, like creating like little herbs and yeah, I just feel like at least some people I'm tuning into, um, I feel like that is probably a venture you want to take, but the, maybe the money hasn't come in as smoothly, right? Maybe you feel like it's not working out. Okay. 
and it's making you feel like, is it worth it putting all this time and effort? But spirit is saying yes, okay? If it brings you joy, you should stick with it, all right? So we've got the queen of swords for your next card. This is saying that you need to really take a different approach, all right? You need to take action on what needs to change. If it's not working out for you and you love this thing, then stick with it, okay? Don't give up on it and don't think, oh, this is all shit. I just don't know what I'm going to do. No, take a different approach. Look at what's working, what's not working, and then change up your strategy on whether it's marketing or maybe change up the way you're packaging or maybe change up the way you're promoting yourself. It feels like this is where you need to use these outside manifestations and utilize it in a way that's going to change the energy. All right. This is what I was saying with this. This is about changing our mindset, changing the way we look at things. And this is where I feel it is for you. It's just looking at whatever you're trying to promote or do, look at it from a different perspective. All right. Look at it from the client's eyes. What does the client want here? What do they need? Where would they be living at? Look at your soulmate clients. Okay. And that's what just came through. Now, business is not a thing. I'm noticing today I'm talking a lot about business, okay? But if that's not what you're into or something you're really moving into as well, this just could be to do with your dreams and what you're wanting to achieve, okay? So the message is always the same. It's just depending on the situation, of course. As I was saying, this is like taking action on a different approach, a different method, okay? A different strategy on how to make this work. What's gonna help the mind feel a bit sounder and a bit better, okay? This might be literally going to a market. This might be going online and doing a sale for the end of financial year. Regardless, I feel you can make this work, but you need to be, you need to put your heart in it. You need to put everything into it and not get yourself doubtful when it's not working out or things aren't, mapping out the way they're meant to, okay? Take action and take this different approach for yourself, okay? You're on this journey for the long haul. If you're passionate about it, you gotta stick with it, okay? If the passion's gone and then this is all not like just not working out, then yeah, sure, maybe it is a new different transition, but don't give up on something you're passionate about, okay? So let's do another message. Okay. So we've got the Ace of Cups for the last card, okay? This is what I'm saying. This is about passioning, a passionate, okay? Pouring your heart into different things. And I feel like maybe what they're saying to what they're saying to me is that maybe start including different things, different services, different products for yourself that's going to f- flourish your business or flourish your brand, whatever you're doing in a better way, all right? Spirit has given you signs. Spirit has given you messages. And if you don't know, ask Spirit, okay? But you've got to find things you love, all right? And do things that you love doing all right maybe it isn't just about doing one thing I'm hearing maybe it is about doing a few different things to help with the mindset of getting out of the fear all right regardless it is about focusing on what you're passionate about and not giving up on that the five of um, swords is about this is saying not to walk away all right don't walk away of something that you're passionate about all right this is what your heart wants this is what your heart needs and we walk away because it's a bit tough at the moment, then we're walking away from our truth. We're walking away from our passion and we can find a way to make this work, okay? Trust me, we can find a way. So I feel like Spirit is saying definitely don't give up. Change your your way of currently doing things and definitely build on this. This is definitely something it can be built on. It's something that you are meant to do, but there feels like you need to commit to this. You need to commit to it for long haul and don't give up. Okay. Not never give up on this. That's what I'm hearing. So I, yeah, I just feel like for you, it's a commitment thing for this week. It's how much, how bad do you want it kind of thing. And yeah, let that be sort of your, your guidance for the way that you, run your business or run your your brand, whatever it is, run your thing, whatever I'm talking about. Um, this is, yeah, this is the message for you. So let's do a final card for you guys. All right, I'm going to do it last card. Hmm. 
Nah, there it is. I think it's the top one. That was a lot. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So just the one I'm feeling. Okay. Atlantis, keep the big vision, stay in alignment as you grow. Okay, beautiful guys, absolutely beautiful. Just keep your big vision, don't give up, stay in alignment, change change your strategy if you need to, but don't give up when things aren't working out, okay? Persecute and look at it from a different perspective because, yeah, if you stay in alignment and keep going, you'll be amazed with what comes up. All right. So thank you so much. If you want a personalized psychic reading, please book in the link below or check out my other courses if that resonates with you. But please like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for seeing this video. Please, as always, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel so, so much. If you wanted to book in a personalized reading, check out my website, vwellnessstudios.com. I do also have Psychic Goddess, which is a psychic development course as well. And I have Listen to You, which is a soul, um, how to discover your soul's purpose course as well. So check out the links below as well. Other than that, thank you so, so much. I cannot wait to see you guys all next week for the big July All Signs reading. So please subscribe if you're interested in that. But other than that, everyone, thank you so, so much. I am Vanessa Joanne and I'll see you all next time. Bless me. Mm-hmm.